So the other day, I tweeted this. Seeing as Rochdale is the last away day of Dorking season, I've decided, like the other Dorking fans, to go as fancy dress. Comment down below, suggestions. And, um, it's fair to say we did get a few replies here. Surely this was all a bit of nonsense. I'm a YouTuber. Surely I wouldn't go as fancy dress. Or would I? Yes, guys, I've gone as a blooming banana. I decided, as that was the most commented costume, I've gone as a banana. Make sure you guys do subscribe. Hit like down below, please. I look like an absolute idiot. Come on, hit 150 likes for me today. Hit subscribe if you're not already. And let's get off to Rochdale. Right guys, so we have arrived in Rochdale, of course, it looks a really good ground from yeah. the outside. We've got the clubhouse to go to, Alfie is a dinosaur, what's yes, your score man. prediction mate? I'm saying 7-0 Dolkin. Bloody hell, what about you Chester? I'm going to go 4-2 Dolkin, up the Dolkin. Have the confidence, let's just have a fun day out, come on the Wanderers, I'll see you in the clubhouse. 3-1 Dolkin. 3-1 to Dorkin, Tom Blair double, Seb Bowman to get the other. Right, so I think today's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. I think a big Tom Blair goal for the Wanderers. Come on! We've got Mash here, what's the score for this today, Mash? Oh, we're 100% 5-0 win away from home today. Long ago, 6-0. Right, thank you. Come on, Dorkin! 2-0 Yeah, Toby, I think 1-1. One, one. We'll get some of today. Yeah, everybody's feeling good. Great part of the atmosphere. Great to be following the Wanderers on DWF TV. Right, guys, so we're inside the stadium now. It gives me kind of Notts County vibes, like the away end from last season. Um, of course, there's literally nothing to play for for both sides. Anything but a win is just confirms relegation, basically. But Thursday was the killer blow, so... That's why we're all in fancy dress, just having a nice day out. The team is just kind of more relaxed. We've got a slamming goal for the first time this season. House Mel's picked up a bit of a knock since Thursday, so hopefully we can end the season off on the away trips on a win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Up the Dorking, I'll see you at Kingdom. <laughs> So that is half time, it is nil nil. Rochdale probably have had the more chances. We did grow into it as the half went on. Of course, it, it just has that feel that it's a nothing game, which it is, to be fair, in all due respect. Uh, the Dorking fans are still shining along. We're all in our fancy dress, we're loving life. So, second half, let's just see if we can get a goal and hopefully bring the three points back to Meadowbank. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the second half.
Guys, so that's an equaliser. It was absolutely last one. We just got to pick ourselves up from here. So guys, that is it. It finishes 1-1 here in Rochdale and what a day out that was with all the fancy dress and what an experience to finish off the away days for the season. The fans kept their voices throughout that game. Dawkins fans obviously loving the away days this year and of course it's going to be a bit flattening to not go to any of these northern away days because I've actually really enjoyed myself this season going to all of them but at least they will be a bit closer and hopefully we can bounce straight back. Like said in the intro, the killer blow was on Thursday for relegation, but it was confirmed today, so we will be playing in the National South next season. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe, hit like, let's go for 150 for today's video. You absolutely smashed the like target on the Wilson video, by the way. If you guys wanted to check that out, there will be a link at the top of the screen right now, so you can go and watch that. And other than that, I will see you all at Hartlepool. Bye-bye.